Today, I'm going to show you five reasons why you need to visit Buenos Aires. Number one is clearly the architecture. There are so many gorgeous buildings here and the Art Nouveau, Art Deco and neoclassical styles. Buenos Aires is actually said to be the Paris of Argentina and I can definitely see why. If you enjoy more traditional architecture, I highly recommend exploring Recoleta. Recoleta is one of the central areas here in Buenos Aires, and it is also considered one of the safest. As you cross over the big colorful bridge, which is one of my personal favorite landmarks in Buenos Aires, you'll be greeted with the large structure of the local national university. And right behind me is the famous modern flower that opens and closes every single day, which signifies a more modern style of architecture. One of the things that you have to experience when coming to Buenos Aires is Teatro Colón. This is one of the most beautiful opera houses in the entire world and it was built over 100 years ago. The main theater hall has seven floors and the reason that the acoustics are so good is because of the horseshoe shape. Recoleta Cemetery is right in the center of the area called Recoleta here in Buenos Aires. It was originally built in 1822 and has over 1,400 graves and vaults belonging to famous politicians, leaders and the wealthiest of Argentina. It's about midday now and it is so eerie and quiet over here. I can't believe it. This being the number one tourist attraction here in Buenos Aires, I expected it to be a lot busier. There are tours that you can do uh, two, three times a day, some in Spanish, others in English. So if you wanna really know your facts about the cemetery, make sure you look those up online. I'm now walking to the vault where Eva Perón is buried and she was first lady of Argentina in the mid 20th century. Unfortunately, she died in her early 30s uh, due to cancer, but she's so famous and so loved that people still leave flowers on her vault. She's buried with her family. And the most interesting fact is that she's actually buried eight meters underground. The beauty here is pretty astounding. Everywhere you look, there is grandeur. There is this gorgeous architecture. This place is honestly insane. Obviously, no visit to Buenos Aires is complete without visiting Tigre, which is only half an hour away from the city and is the largest delta system in Argentina, and not to mention one of the largest in the world. The population here is around 6,000 people and as you can see, everyone gets around here by boat. This is the equivalent of having a car in the city and the equivalent of a motorcycle would be a jet ski over here. The vegetation over here is essentially the same as an Iguazu, which is a video that I'm going to link for you above right now. And that is super interesting for me, knowing that this place is only half an hour up north away from Buenos Aires. The name for Tigre comes from the fact that there used to be jaguars roaming the area. And then when the first settlers came here, they saw them and they thought they were tigers. Argentinians are huge foodies, so number five for me has to be all the food that you can experience here in Buenos Aires. I've decided to do a list within a list and give you guys my top five recommendations for restaurants. The first place that I'm taking you guys to is called Joya and it is a botanical kitchen, meaning that it is fully vegan. They've got a lot of small dishes that you can share and the setting over here is beautiful. It's in the Hyatt Hotel and you're overlooking basically a palace. Another fantastic place to eat is Casa Cavia, this gorgeous outdoor space in the area of Palermo Chico. My favorite part is the scenery here. You've got this beautiful 
mountain right behind you. Obviously, everything is outdoors. You're sitting in the shade, and the food is to die for. One of the signs of a good restaurant for me is when the bread is warm. Oh. Heaven. This is one of my favorite ever sushi restaurants, and to find it in Buenos Aires was definitely a surprise. I'll show you exactly what I love about this place. I usually stay in the Recoleta area of Buenos Aires, and that right there is my favorite breakfast spot. Let's go check it out. Well, I just got to dinner, and this is probably the coolest dinner setup I've ever experienced. I'm sorry if it's a bit dark, but the atmosphere in here calls for lighting exactly like this. Look, I am sitting in a kitchen, and my table is the only one here. This is a tasting menu of 20 dishes, so they're all very small, very flavorful, very thought through. Uh, this experience had to be booked about three to four weeks ahead, so I'm really glad that I did that. Wow, that was one of the best meals I've ever had in my life. All right, well, that was my top five reasons why you need to visit Buenos Aires. If you felt inspired by that, please comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Keep smiling, and I'll see you next time. Gentlemen, as the aftermath of Argentina winning a football match. <laughs>